Hello, we are learning today how to do the transverse abdominus plane block, also called the tap block. This block was first introduced in 2001 by Rathi, who called it the abdominal field block. He used surface landmarks and injected within the triangle of the T. The block was later renamed the tap block. Hebert of Australia was the first to use ultrasound imaging to guide the needle. This shifted the injection point to anterior to the triangle of the T. The ultrasound guided tap block is popular, easy, reliable and safe. Analgesia success depends on selecting the correct surgical indication. The full thickness of the anterior abdominal wall is anesthetized from the T910 dermatomes at the umbilicus down to the L12 dermatomes at the inguinal ligament, including the ilioinguinal and iliohypogastric nerves. Note, the viscera are not anesthetized. This block is ideal for superficial surgery like the repair of umbilical hernias, midline hernias and inguinal hernias. With caesarean sections, analgesia is partial, but still good enough to use the tap block routinely. Mark the umbilicus, mark the iliac crest, work on a horizontal axis, passing from the umbilicus to just above the iliac crest. See the three abdominal wall muscles, obliquus externus, obliquus internus, and transversus abdominis. The target dermatomal segmental nerves are embedded within the single fascia, separating the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle. Make the point of drug injection far posterior, but where the three muscles all still have a visible fleshy form. Advance the needle to the transversus abdominis fascia in between the two muscles. Optimize needle imaging by making it more parallel to the transducer surface. Do this by digging in the far side of the transducer to look towards the needle. Then slide the transducer further to lateral to correct the view so that the needle tip position is central in the image again. Start injecting local anesthetic when the needle either just touches or just penetrates the transversus abdominis fascia. If the injected drug pulls above the fascia, it lifts the internal oblique muscle upwards, or if it pulls below the fascia, it pushes the transversus abdominis muscle downwards. Inject 20 milliliters of 0.5% bupivacaine with epinephrine for unilateral blocks. Inject 17.5 milliliters per side with bilateral blocks in average adult patients. The analgesia usually lasts 18 to 24 hours. This is another tap block on a second subject. Good luck with your blocks. Google this number for the lecture text.